Dandora Estate, famous for all the wrong reasons, organized crime, insecurity, and the choking smoke from the dump site. It was once said nothing good comes out of Dandora, but there is something great coming out of this place. The Johanna Omolo Foundation story came from the story of Harambe Stars player Johanna Omolo, born and bred in Dandora, right behind the Dandora Stadium. This is where he lived in a single room. His generation of footballers were very talented. And Dandora was one of the talent conveyor belts of Kenyan football. Actually, I was not, I've been saying this before, I was not the best or of anything. Not the most strongest or the fastest or even technically. But he got an opportunity to try out his luck in Europe. Luck enough to not have gone through the Kenyan Premier League. His peers sadly made the wrong choices in life, some ending up in crime. The opportunity to start a new life sparked the desire to give back and lay a foundation for the upcoming generation of players from Dandora. So I said, yeah, well, I know the challenges here. I know what this kid is going through. I know pretty much his future if I don't do anything. The foundation is based on two pillars, football and education. A lot of very young players from Dandora gather here for training and get tips from Johanna himself when he's in the country. For sports, we try to nurture and develop potential talent you know, so that they can be able to, to play in this modern football. He says football alone is not enough. He emphasizes on education as well. Despite the financial challenges, there are those on full scholarship at the foundation and some on half scholarship. There is start a background check for the needy students who are identified through the schools and also the community. There's a few kids who we pay their school, their school fees. Some we, yeah, we help them with the, with the supplies, school supplies like uh, uniform, books. So Johanna came to my rescue when I didn't have school fees because I had a sister who was in Form 4, another one was in university, and there are other ones who are small and they were had to pay school fees for them. One of my neighbors realized that I was not going to school and he came and he told my mom about the foundation. That is when they took me in and when I went there, they sponsored me. In four schools in Dandora, the foundation has a program of providing sanitary towels to 200 girls throughout the year. They get their supplies every month from Johanna. It's it's working because we, we, we are talking to their, to their teachers and uh, they're telling us that their performance are increasing because they spend more time in class. All the effort has not gone unnoticed. FIFPRO, the World Professional Footballers Organization, awarded Johanna Omolo Foundation the 2019 FIFPRO Merit Award. This is in recognition of the work he has done in Dandora. It was because of the, of the, of the work that the team, the foundation team has been doing because I've never seen such a crew who are so resilient to, to their work. Monday night was a big one for Dandora's Omolo, scored for the Harambe Stars against Togo in a 2021 Africa Cup of Nations qualifier. He was celebrated all over. So I, you know, I gave it everything I could. And luckily it was 20. <laughs> Dandora Stadium, where he honed his skills, is still under renovation and it is a project that will benefit more than 50 teams from the larger Dandora area. Johanna Omolo is one of the rare talents that came out of these grounds in Dandora. Though the stadium is not complete, he feels that once it's done, there will be 10 more Johanna Omolos coming out of this ground after every game that is played here. Our plan is to try to get them there, especially with this pitch. I don't see a reason why Dandora should, should not be participating in or competing in that level. Omolo wants to take the foundation to the next level, where it will have its own partners and sponsors to enable the talented kids get an opportunity to try out with the big clubs across the world. Michael Kinyi for Citizen TV.